Hello everybody, K here. Welcome to this brand new video. Today we'll be showcasing, or at least visiting, an old building I made years ago. And um, I just rebranded it a little just before I showed it to you. But I still think there are a lot of things going wrong with it. So here is the house. Let's say it's just some lakeside house or riverside house. So basically the only things that changed is that I turned the red terracotta into red concrete which looks a bit brighter and improved the fade on the top. Right, so I think I initially made this with a texture pack so it looked better uh, but since I can't find any better than the default I'll be going with this. I usually use the Flows HD, but right now it's not working with it. So uh, let's have a sneak peek on the inside, right? So this is the last house of the season one, which means um, it's going to be closed after that, uh, and I'll be beginning season two. Um, so I just wanted to make the last season one house before starting it basically because the season two buildings are going to be much different. Right, so let's go inside. Hey, this is Swagger. Maybe I should turn the ATH so you can see his face. Hey Swagger. So this is our home, right? So, oops, why do you have fucking shield? Right, let me just get rid of that. Yeet. Am I just calling my dog Geet and Swagger? Oh my god, Swagger Souls just infected me. Right, sorry. Um, this is not my trademark. So, Swagger, what have we been doing here? We have a gigantic TV right under the stairs, which is not quite clever if you think about it. Then we have this coolish sofa. Wait, I'm just gonna stand at the door and extend my FOV, otherwise it makes no sense, right? So, we have a pretty okay uh, daylight amount coming in, yeah. Uh, the shaders is just blurring this. Um, it's a bit darker than with the basic lighting. Um, what? Oh, you left me a surprise in the kitchen. Oh yes, thank you, that really wasn't needed. Oh, I might need a shovel for that. Nice. Right, so, thank you for your creepy crumpet you left me in the kitchen. Right, so, here is the kitchen with a nice view on the, the outside. So I think this was initially made to be spotting out creepers waiting outside so you would enter by this door and get out by this door while playing survival. Um, so this is the comfy kitchen, yeah? Then on this side we have the bathroom with a tiny shower and a tiny sink, yeah. So um, for the last part of the house it's pretty easy, we have the computer here with this beautiful panorama, right? And the the room, yeah, basically, um, which is, if you have people inside, uh, you have a, those bit of, you know, um, in French it's called obturateur, which means basically just uh, cutting off the light and the vision, uh, so it can be better hidden behind. So I'll just go that, um, I think it's checkers or something like that. Yeah, I don't remember, that's alright. And the jukebox of course in the corner because this is important. So we'll just have a flying tour of the house for now and I guess we'll be done with it. Ta da! So yeah, nothing too special in the back. I remember taking quite strong decisions on this, like having those completely blind white surfaces on both sides, kind of framing the view straight in front of us, like on this forest and water place, right? And um, I also remember 
having some kind of games with the reflection so you see like it doesn't look like the house is floating it looks like the house is both over ground and under the water level which is kind of fun given the fact it's just one block um, you know here there's just one block deep and um yeah that's pretty much it so yeah that was uh, the last house of season one so we'll be beginning season two very soon with the first example and the first build being the arc uh, which you might have seen a few spoilers on Twitter if you follow me on Twitter <clears throat> which if it's the case if you follow me on Twitter you might find this house really really boring because you must be used to much better things so that would be it for this time um, I'll catch you on later and I hope you enjoyed bye bye